This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, miniatures, and paints, discount prices at miniaturemarket.com. Hey everybody, it's your old pal Rob. Today we're going to be taking a look at a revised edition by from one of my favorite companies of all time, and that is Flying Frog Productions. And boy, they hit it out of the park with this one, a touch of evil. Uh, revised edition. We're going to go down. Uh, I'm going to talk about the changes in the game. Uh, some, of the, some of the things that they cleaned up. Um, this is just nice if you want to get it. Uh, you know, maybe your copy's all beat, beat up and you would like a newer revised edition with all the upgrades. Or maybe you never played this, which, uh, to be honest with you, if you haven't played this game, uh, I don't think you should be watching this video because I really don't want to talk to you. Um, this is one of those classics from um, a, a great company, and you need to play this. So go out and get the revised edition, and then come back here. But um, let's go down. We're going to take a look at a few things. We're not going to explain all the rules because you probably know them. And for those of you that don't, I'm going to give a brief overview. And then uh, we'll see you on the other side of this. Now, if you're new to this game, uh, I'm just going to kind of give a brief overview, but mainly what I wanted to talk about is some of the changes in the revised edition. Um, now, if you have, if you want to get the revised edition, of course, or maybe your copy is all built, beat up or something like that, or you never played this game, go out and get it. But you can also get the expansions for it, okay? Um, because they will work with the re revised edition. That's one big thing I wanted to make uh, perfectly clear. Uh, there's plenty of uh, charts and dice. Uh, you get a ton of dice here, thank God. Um, and uh, this is a dice chucker, okay? Um, and, and, and Flying Frog Games just always does everything superbly. Um, so, uh, the one of the things that I want to go through is the revised edition of the rule book. All the, the errata and everything has been updated into it. And then it's going to tell you what's new in this edition. So, I'm going to read this so you guys know exactly. The revised edition of the game features a revised version of the main game rules and integrates all the corrections and changes that have happened over the last decade plus years. This game has been around for a long time and is glorious. There are a couple of terminology changes throughout this edition. Wounds uh, characteristics for villains and minions have been changed to health for extra clarity. In addition, an investigation icon is now used throughout the game cards and components for easier reference. All the errata and correction from the last 10 years has been integrated in and a polished pass has been done on every aspect of this game. So this has been cleaned up perfectly. The basic game now includes as an optional variant and all of the advanced rules are now simply part of the main rules of the game. Actions taken during a hero's turn are now all considered to be once per turn unless specified otherwise. Heroes now may now collect one investigation uh, marker uh, for free from a space whenever they enter that space during their move and may pick up all of the investigation of the investigation in the space they end in as an action no longer requires a skill test the spectral horseman's endless ride ability no longer hits heroes that are in the town hall so if you're in the town hall which is in the center here uh, his ability will not hurt you anymore all evil elder cards now have a unique ability and, pa and a pass has been done on all of the secret cards to clarify and stream streamline their effects. Some exp expansion rules have been integrated into the main, game, the main game rules, such as Too Many Secrets and the Advanced Cooperation Mystery Chart. Okay, so those are all the upgrades. What this game is, is you are going around and you are trying to take out a certain amount of villains. Um, if you are playing against each other, you have your lair side. But if you're playing cooperatively, 
you have the layer cloth and as things go down they are going to in certain areas the villain is going to get stronger um, in combat or health okay not good so you want to take them out as quickly as you can which is not an easy thing you uh, you get these beautiful miniatures for your players which are fantastic the unbelievably illustrated cards which are gorgeous for each one of your characters uh, Katrina the outlaw is one of my favorites okay uh, because she's pretty balanced with uh, two uh, for combat three for cunning and four for spirit here's her wound account how many wounds she can take uh, and then you're gonna have a special ability as well as a honor number okay as you land on certain areas you are going to draw a card and you are going to have a have to negotiate certain things you are going to fight certain villains you're going to be going around until you can of course negotiate against either the vampire the werewolf the spectral horseman or the scarecrow now one of the best things about this game is how what the expansions do because they add on different areas on either side and i assume that they'll be re releasing uh, revised editions of that uh, also it adds more characters but there are so many cards and things that you are going to have to to do and and, and be able to, to negotiate through the through the cards through tests um, getting stronger as you go to take out uh, your your adversary for this particular storyline uh, each um, each uh, villain has a minion chart okay and what that's going to do is uh, explain who their minions are so you're going to have to deal with them which is not fun uh, and some of the special abilities that you can run into or bad things that will happen to you which are just never cool you're going to run into different event cards that are going to do uh, and, and either help or hinder you uh, and um, um, there are secrets and all kinds of different things as you traverse through this wonderful board which has this and let me get these cards out of this way so you can get this complete feel of this this just masterpiece and one of my favorite games uh, uh, of quite some time um, this has that old Salem feel to it and I really love this board uh, and I, I love the expansions that go with this because it even makes it even better. And they will work with this particular uh, game. So I really suggest that you go out, get this revised edition, and then go get um, the expansions and just see what I'm talking about and why this is such a special game. Let's go up top and get my final thoughts. Fantastic. Fantastic. The quality is through the roof, like, uh, you know, everything else that they do. Um, it, one of the most, I'll never forget playing this the first time and going, wow, games do this now? And this was, you know, quite a long time ago. You know, this is this game's over 10 years old. And this revised edition is great uh, because a lot of times it's really hard to find the original Touch of Evil. And um, to be able to get the uh, this uh, revised version, which works with the expansions, okay? Um, so if you're able to find the other expansions, because the board actually gets bigger and the game gets even bigger. Um, this is just one of my favorites. Uh, if you've got to play a game during the Halloween season, which is coming up, this is the game to play. It just hits all the buttons. It has that old, the, even the board has that old Salem feel, like I said, down at the table. Um, just really, really good and a great addition. So, so if you haven't played this before, go get the uh, revised edition. If you have an old version of this and it's beat up, it, it doesn't hurt you to go pick this up and and get everything all cleaned up. Um, not that it was hard to figure out uh, to begin with, um, but you know, the Hill Boys just make great games and that's what they do. And that's why we love them. All right, until next time, it's your old pal Rob. We'll see you soon, everybody.